everyone, Ben Freckman, Product Manager at Eurotherm by Schneider Electric. We're here today at ASM 2017, showcasing some of our products, highlighting the EPC 3000 here. I just want to show you how easy it is to set it up with our quick code right out of the box and start using it. So, uh, you know, let's pretend I got this today, uh, powering it up for the first time. All I have to do is select my application type, uh, single channel or dual channel, and that's heat or heat cool. Maybe I'm doing a carbon potential application. I'm going to select single channel heat output. Uh, then your next step is uh, select your input type. So I'm going to go with a type K thermocouple because that's a pretty standard input type. Uh, and then the range of that thermocouple we want to control over, I'm going to select F for full range. The quick code guide is available in our data sheet so it's pretty easy to follow. Um, the next couple things might be uh, my second PV input. Maybe I'm taking a, another thermocouple. Uh, maybe it's a pressure sensor. Maybe I'm doing some type of pressure application. Uh, lots of different uh, options for that. Walk through the rest of my setup code here. Uh, these are some options for digital inputs and outputs, maybe related to my programmer, uh, my set point profile. Last thing I can do is I'll skip those digital inputs and outputs for now. Just a basic uh, heat output control is select my unit type. So, right, you have your choices of C, F, or K. Uh, I'm going to select F, quick exit, and save. The controller goes into its quick boot where it steps through its memory process. And and right as you come back out, right 30 seconds after I started setting it up, uh, I come into an application, it's showing me uh, my temperature as it is, technology alarm to come out, and boom, I'm into setting my temperature. So you can see the set point's 32 degrees right now. All I have to do is press up or down, and I'm ready to go. Very simple setup.